so what I appreciate about Matt is uh, just the intentionality with which he lives his life. And uh, he just seems to always put a lot of um, effort of thought into the decisions he makes. And nothing is trivial, like he, he just really puts a lot of um, you know, energy and intentionality into what he does and what he says. And, and being Matt's friend has helped me to think um, just more critically about the things I believe and the interactions that I have with other people. And so yeah, I appreciate about that, that about you. So, why don't we go around this way? Okay, my turn. We won't do any roasts. Uh, what I like about my son is that he's not afraid to be the person he wants to be. He doesn't try to be something that I want him to be or his mother wants him to be. He uh, understands himself. He lives in his own skin. And he's happy being the person he wants to be. And I'm very proud of that. So I'm very and Matt, I'm, I'm so excited to get to know you and for your, your bravery in stepping into church and life and coming into our home and, and meeting with a bunch of old people. To <laughs> I'm in my 30s now, so. <laughs> so, um, It's beautiful, and I thank you for it. And I have just appreciated your openness and your willingness to share yourself um, with this group of people and us included and um, we've just really been blessed by your friendship and your openness. Thank you. I feel really grateful for the long talks <laughs> and that feeling of having somebody who hasn't been through the same thing as you but understands something the same way that you do and experiences something the same way that you do. So I'm thankful for our shared experiences and the chance to share them and talking. <laughs> I was afraid someone would beat me to it because the obvious thing, I think, is Matt's sense of humor. Oh. <laughs> Matt, introduced me, Matt had to introduce me to YouTube because <laughs> <laughs> well, was, my favorite thing is um, on the YouTube you put us on to Alex and me was um, that what, what, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what are what you doing? <laughs> That's a gay friend. Yeah, that, that was so funny. So yeah, I mean, the sense of humor. Matt and I relate very much with our sense of humor. Look at your life, look at your choices. <laughs> so um, Matt and I basically take turns losing our minds throughout the last five years. You, we go crazy at different moments throughout the course of the year. And it, it seems as though the other one is very rarely insane at the same time. Or in the membrane. Yes. Um, and so for me, it's the fact that when I feel as though I'm going off the deep end, um, one instance in particular when my ex-girlfriend decided to write me back, emotions went off and I thought I was going crazy. Matt sat down and instead of using the emotional side of him, he said, Dustin, I, I see you're feeling everything just fine. Let's use our brains. <laughs> I put it a little better. <laughs> and by a little, he means a little. <laughs> Paquita. <laughs> so, when I feel as though I'm losing my mind, Matt typically will step in and give me his. So mm -hmm. it's, it's kept me sane for moments in my life I didn't think I was going to be sane. Nice. So, that's what I appreciate. <laughs> um, what I really appreciate about Matt is his persistence mm -hmm. because I feel like there are moments where in our friendship I have just gotten caught up with life and things like having a baby and um, he has always been very persistent in pursuing our friendship and making sure that I know that I'm loved and making sure to draw me back to him and kind of snap me out of my shell when, when I get sucked into it. So I appreciate that persistence. Mm -hmm. um, I really appreciate your, like, I don't know if you call it, it's 
like professionalism in a social sense. <laughs> so true. <laughs> very polite in conversation and how you carry yourself and I always like the story. I don't know you that well, but I dressed up as probably nice as I've ever dressed up when you invited us over for Christmas. And I was like, I thought Matt would say like, oh, you look good compared to what you usually do. <laughs> <laughs> and I said something to Kit and we called up, like, Matt didn't say anything about how well I was dressed up. She's like, of course he didn't, that's just normal. <laughs> <laughs> Share to me without Matt, I would quit. <laughs> I need him, and he is helping me get so much done at church to serve others well and to serve others um, in an effective manner in a clean way. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt drained the 409 bottle like every Sunday. Like, oh, <laughs> we ethnically cleanse. <laughs> your dedication and your friendships and in your work. And in um, your service at church. Mm. That's what I appreciate about you. Thank you. So I'm going to try not to ramble here because, like, I have like eight things going on in my head, and sometimes pressure makes them come out nice, and sometimes they don't come out nice. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. But, um, but I think the biggest thing I think of um, is kind of this, cate this category when I try to like sort these things. I, I learned a lot of things from Matt. I'm, I'm a pragmatist here, right? So, like, um, it's like I've been riding my bike for a long time, but as soon as Matt started riding a bike, I learned about all these little things <laughs> that you could buy that would make your bike riding experience more proper. Except for a helmet. <laughs> um, right? I don't want to ruin the tan line. <laughs> and so my entire like existence of like knowing Matt has been learning things that he essentially tells me that's how you're supposed to do it, and I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean things like growing up in Wyoming, they don't really teach you proper, I guess, etiquette. I, I don't know. So I just kind of make up my own rules, and it's kind of fun. But then I find out that there's all these other things. So like, yes, uh, I do learn a lot of things from Matt. But then there's other things too, and in part of the pragmatic nature that I grew up with is uh, is I didn't understand loyalty. I mean, loyalty that didn't make sense. You just do whatever the 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 makes the most sense at the time. So whenever it becomes inconvenient, you you leave, and um, and so and you go do something else. Like you just you just do that. And so Matt has has taught me through his years of of being there whenever whenever he's needed. And whenever it's not convenient, you know, I always have to, I call him, and I'm like, oh, Matt, you know, can you hang out? Or you're like, oh, if there's, like, something that's important, really important, I say, oh, I don't, don't know, you know, what I'm going to do, whatever. And so I'll call him, and I have to make sure to tell him not to take off of work or not to leave work <laughs> to come because he will just drop it, and he will be there. And, and so, you know, that loyalty is just something that I really just grew up in this vacuum of understanding. I just didn't, I just didn't understand it. And, and now, um, you know, uh, many years later after Matt kind of like just living this life that uh, embodied this, you know, I ended up, you know, getting married to my wife and, and, and just the ideas of loyalty just were so heavy. And I mentioned this even in the, the weeks coming up to the wedding, just how like, I just kind of thought of Matt and just how he is stalwart and he will he will continue going in the direction that he has gone and and so I'm just I mean I think that that's you know kind of the main things I've, I've learned a lot from that mm -hmm. so cool um it's hard to follow <laughs> <laughs> always it's Great. hard to follow <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um I would have to say Matt's courage is probably one of the things I appreciate the most about you Matt um, I know that you are intentionally growing and finding the hard parts of your heart that need to be softened mm -hmm. and you keep making the efforts to 
to do that even whenever it's hard. And that takes a lot of courage. And in turn, it's inspiring to your friends. I know that I'm able to soften parts of my heart that need to be softened because of you directly. And there are times when, honestly, not another soul in the world understands what I'm talking about except you. <laughs> and I really, really appreciated that. Thank you. Yeah, I got really upset when you then made it go this way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sorry, Dan. There's a, there's a lot, there's so many great things, and everybody's touched on a true thing with you, Matt. And, uh, but, you know, trying to add another thing to it, even though I could have, you know, said any of those things. Uh, it's been your honesty in our friendship. Like, uh, um, you know, ever since, you know, the first times that we started talking after Bible study and then we started meeting up at Starbucks to talk, uh, there's something in you that drives you to be more and more honest with yourself and with the people around you. And then, even then, in the way that you care about the people around you, it drives you to ask questions or speak things that need to be spoken to help them be honest with themselves, help them be honest with you. And uh, uh, in our times, like, I've, I've really appreciated that about you. Um, but even, I mean, there's times when you say stuff to me that, that nobody else <laughs> either sees say. or would dare say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I appreciate it. Like, I really do. Like, it's, uh, like, there takes a lot of trust and a lot of, um, you have to really care about someone to, to speak that way. And, uh, and I see that, and I feel cared for when you do that, and, uh, I appreciate that about our friendship, so. Thank you. Yeah, it sounded fair in the last one. <laughs> but, um, I so I guess I'll just say a couple of the ones I was thinking of that people have already touched on, but, um, definitely your sense of humor <laughs> and your uh, just your ability to make everybody laugh at scandalous things that everybody's <laughs> horrified to laugh at. But, <laughs> um, yes. Your boldness and um, just the fact that you don't hold back. You don't um, let any awkward situations <laughs> hold you back from saying exactly what you mean to say. Um, <laughs> the fact that you are probably one of the most genuine people I've ever met, um, genuinely caring, and like everybody said, like you never have to wonder where you stand with you. You're honest, and um, in our friendship, I've never wondered where I stand. You expect honesty from me and to be straightforward, even when it's hard for me to give it to you, but in... I know that I can expect that from you, and you'll give it right to me. So, like, I could echo every single thing that everybody has said, but you are one of my closest friends, and we just adore you. So. Well, cheers to Matt. Happy, Happy birthday, Matt. 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 Happy birthday,